Hey guys, welcome back to another boss guide in Elden Ring. This time we'll be covering a DLC boss, which is Relana, Relana, or Relana, whatever her name is pronounced as, a Relana Twin Moon Knight. Uh, yeah, we're going to be going over this boss, and uh, so this boss can be pretty challenging, especially if you're, you know, didn't play much of the main game, and if you're, you know, coming into this game with the DLC already out, or you're just struggling with uh, Relina, then this is going to be a guide for you. So I'm using the Clayman's Harpoon build, which uh, basically has like a Clayman's Harpoon with Ice Spear, Ash of War attached to it. I have all my guides on how to get all these buffs and all the talismans I'm using uh, in this like Flame Grant Me Strength, Golden Vow. I'm using my Flask of Wondrous Physic with uh, Stone Barb Crack Tear, Thorny Crack Tear. And I have other talismans. I'll put all my talismans and everything, all the buffs, in the description below on how to get them. Uh, you only need, like, half of these buffs, though. I mean, most of them aren't too much of a big deal. Um, as you see at the beginning of the fight, I use Rotten Breath here, but it doesn't actually do any too much build-up. So, yeah, don't worry about the Rotten Breath there. Just use the Black Knife Tish summon. Just use that. I know it's hard to get, but uh, if you can use Black Knife Tish, if you... You can't then use Mimic Tear or something like that. Um, but yeah, Black Knife Tish is like the best summon there. So, yeah. So, the, with, without further ado, let's get into the moveset of Relina. Alright, so starting off in the fight, Relina has a bunch of like aggressive moves, like where basically she'll move forward and like do a bunch of sword swings. So, in this case, you just want to move back, just roll backwards if you can. If you feel like you're, you know, know the moveset well at this point, you can try to move forward if you're at the end of the combo. It's basically a combo of a bunch of sword attacks that's done here. Um, so, just try to dodge around, especially with these like quick swings. And then, usually, what you want to do in the beginning is just let Black Knife Tish. You know, take the take the hits, but the second that Black Knife Tish takes takes the aggro, then you immediately attack Relina. And then when Relina is targeting you, you don't do anything. You just dodge and let Black Knife Tish distract her. And then when Black Knife Tish is distracted with Tish, you're gonna go ahead and attack. That's what I'm, I'm gonna be mainly doing. So another attack is done is this like weird sword attack, which basically you want to dodge to the right, and then you want to dodge forward into. Or you could dodge left and then dodge forward, but yeah, I just want to be ready. The timing's a bit weird, like, she'll hold up the sword for, like, a split second, then she'll bring it down, so you want to dodge either left or right, and then she does an attack where she swipes forward, and then you want to dodge through that. But after that, once, like, you get Relana to about, like, half health, then she takes out her swords and puts one with magic abilities and one with fire abilities, and basically can deal a lot more damage and uh, do a lot more crazy attacks. So you want to make sure that you have enough flasks and that Tish has not been damaged too much. That's why the second that Relana starts focusing on Tish, you're going to have to go and attack Relana so that the aggro's off of you. Black Knife Tish. But, um, yeah, so once uh, Relana takes out her swords, she's probably going to use this attack that makes all of these like waves come out of her sword with magic. Which I just dodge to, to the sides, like just do a bunch of side dodges and you'll be fine. You might get hit like once, but just side dodge all of them, just dodge to the side, and then you should be fine with that attack. And then if Tish is still alive, this is going to be really easy and you're going to be able to do a lot of frostbite damage now that you've, you know, been able to get some build up there with your Ice Spear Ash of War. So you should be almost about to kill her here. And, uh, yeah, as you can see in this recording, I actually died, but, you know, if you have Black Knife Tish, you're still able to have Black Knife Tish kill Relina. I kind of beat this fight in a funny way, but, yeah, that's overall all the attacks. Uh, if you're still, like, alive, or if Relina's still alive, uh, after all those attacks, uh, she's probably gonna do a bunch of annoying, like, fiery attacks, where she, like, spins all these fiery tornadoes all over the place. So just try to get away from her. As, get, as far away from her as possible, and let Tish, you know, take the heat. If Tish is dead, then you're going to probably have to just, like, dodge roll around the fire, and you're going to have to learn the move set a little bit better. But, um, you should be able to take care of her pretty easily, since she'll probably have pretty low health at that point, so. Yeah, also, there's also one more attack where Tish will, like, summon these moons, like these full moons. Basically, when the moons drop, just jump above the shockwave that's created. There's three shockwaves. That's probably going to kill Tish. So hopefully you've gotten her down to pretty low health 
Uh, so because Tish will not be able to dodge that, so that's just a guaranteed death for Tish. So if you could avoid that happening to Tish, then uh, or avoid her doing the attack by just killing her quickly, that's uh, that's an option for sure. But she does like to do that attack, just jump over those shockwaves, and you should be fine. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope this was helpful, and uh, see you in the next boss guide. So see you then. Bye bye.